Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So right now it is 6.26 a.m. Um, I decided that I'm gonna do a day in the life kind of video and just bring you along with me and show you what I've got going on in the day. What we have going on today is I'm going to be going to the gym at 8 a.m., get an early workout in. Um, I won't show the workout this time, but let me know down in the comments if you guys wanna see some workout vlogs in the future yeah just just comment down below on that after that we have a podcast recording at 11 a.m and after that i think i'm gonna get into some coding and just coding for the rest of the day um, i haven't been able to do that recently but now that i'm doing these kinds of vlogs i can actually do that so that's what we've got going on today um, just kind of bring you along with me show you what i've got going on and how i do things so hopefully you guys enjoy but let's get to it Right, guys headed to the gym like i said not going to be filming it today at least if you guys want to see that hit me down in the comments for a fitness kind of vlog if so i work where i can uh walk you guys through what i actually do at the gym but headed to the gym right now it is uh 7 40 a.m so i should be there at 8 get a workout in come right back and then we'll get ready for the podcast all right back from the gym about to hop on this podcast episode and record once we're done recording i usually go in and edit the podcast right after make sure there's nothing i need to cut out um, i'll write the description schedule it for the next day to get published and then we'll move on to the coding after that so let's hop into a time lapse of the podcast recording yo what's going on everybody welcome to another episode of the chow codes podcast this is episode number 11. <laughs> Just did an hour 22 on the podcast with James Quick. So shouts out to James for hopping on the podcast with me. But right now, it's 12.32 p.m. and I haven't really eaten anything. I've only had those super greens that I had in the morning and then a small bit of like nut butter. <laughs> so it's time to eat. Alright guys, so it is currently 3.36 p.m. I just got done editing up the podcast. The podcast is now scheduled for tomorrow at 12 p.m. Because I noticed that 12 p.m. is usually like the best time to upload the podcast. It usually gets the most interactions, the most audience listens, and things like that. So 12 p.m. is like the set time that I usually upload the podcast episodes. Got that done. But now let's talk about the coding side of things. So like I said in the last video, I haven't been able to code much recently just because uh, I've been focusing way too much on content creation and I wanted to try to find a better way to implement that. So I decided to change the videos up into vlog kind of style videos so that I can now implement the coding into vlogs. Now I'm going to be experimenting a lot with this. I don't know how exactly the best way it is going to be to implement the coding side. So I'm just going to screencast it. I'm going to show you guys and talk about what I've been doing, do some time lapses and things like that. If you guys wanna see something more specific or if you guys wanna see something different when it comes to coding, let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see specifically and how you guys wanna see them because I wanna carry these videos towards you guys and you know, try to spice it up and make the developer side of things on YouTube a little bit interesting. All right, everyone. We're getting into TypeScript and Webpack today. I have been taking a tutorial from uh, the Net Ninja, which I'm sure you guys have heard of, um, but I'm gonna be having him play off screen while we code and then we'll just kind of talk through what we are learning and um, anything that I kind of go through, so.
so so far what we've done is uh, we have I, I got the template from him from his github repo and um, he has uh, a form right now in the body of his HTML file and he's also already had he already has his TypeScript file here in the source um, we have initialized or we have our TypeScript config file here um, that's all set up for us. And then we also have installed the TS loader, TypeScript, Webpack and the Webpack CLI as our dev dependencies. Um, it doesn't look like we have any other dependencies as of right now, but the whole project right now is set up right now. We are just installing or focused on installing Webpack. Also, for those of you guys that I know are going to ask, this is Morgan Code's theme on uh, on my ter uh, on my terminal, <laughs> on my code editor, and then I am using the Victor Mono font. I will put those down in the description um, so you guys can check those out. But these are my go-to um, theme and font for my IDE. So right now, uh, in the part of the tutorial, we are going to be creating a Webpack config file. Um, this is going to be one of my first times working with Webpack. I've worked with it before, but not uh, extensively. So this is going to be my first time really like diving into Webpack. So I'm going to be watching the tutorial and then kind of talking through, you know, what's going on right now. So, so far, what we've got right now is we're creating a module.exports and it equals an object. Right now, our entry entry property. This is what's going to show what the initial file is that's going to be compiled down. So the entry file that we're pointing to is a string that goes to the root into source then into our index.typescript file. So this is ultimately the file that it's going to be watched, essentially. Just one tip too that I actually want to um, throw out there so that for those of you that got, that actually enjoy watching videos or uh, slash tutorials, um, I actually watch my videos at two times speed. That way I can actually, it, it forces me to actually focus on the video itself, what they're talking about. And if I actually miss something, it also forces me to uh, rewind the video so that I can try to go back and see what I missed. Um, the, not to mention, it also speeds up the process of learning. Um, not that you should be speeding up the learning. If, you, if listening at two times speed does not help you and it doesn't allow you to comprehend the full context of whatever they're trying to teach, don't do that. I'm just saying that this is my tip. If you want to kind of get by the content a lot faster if you can actually follow along and understand what they're talking about. Um, if you can't, then don't do this, but this is just uh, something that I found super beneficial for me um, and for me personally. Um, again, be self-aware enough to know if this doesn't work for you or not. Yay. So we just made a, a new script. Where is it? Um, build, which then uses Webpack. It'll then look at this file, run it, make sure that all that the test runs. Here we added two more properties to the object use. So if the test passes, it'll use the TS loader and then include the um, every item that resolves with this specific directory here. And uh, here we ran it in the terminal and we can see that bundle.js was run and successfully put into our public folder, which is exciting because it's always fun when things work. <laughs>
All right, so slight bit change of plans. Uh, I was coding for about 20 to 30 minutes. I went through a little bit of a TypeScript tutorial uh, slash Webpack tutorial. Now uh, I just finished a small snack with oatmeal and then another thing of coffee because I was getting a little tired, but I do have to go out to the gym, coach a little bit, and then I'll be back tonight around eight, nine-ish, and then we'll finish the day off with a little bit more coding and end the vlog there. So I'll see you guys right after I'm done coaching. Three hours later. All right, so I'm back. It's 10.42, I wasted a lot of time, honestly. Uh, if I'm being honest, honestly, if I'm being honest. I was just eating and eating dinner and watching YouTube videos and then I kind of got sidetracked, which happens a lot. I always tend to, around dinner time, like wind down a little bit and then, you know, not really pay attention or really spend a lot of time coding. So right now is when I'm going to catch up. So 1042, 1043 PM right now, uh, I will catch up a little bit on the TypeScript tutorial again. And around 1130 ish is when I'll start to get ready for bed. Um, I don't like to go to bed too, too late, which I have been recently, but I do want to try to get to sleep today. So let's hop back into the tutorial and then end the vlog here. Now we're going to be going through a Webpack dev server. Um, and I, I guess we're going to see what that's all about. Oh, I see. So he's alluding to, so the Webpack dev server seems like it's going to load our changes live instead of having to build it every single time. So it's kind of like running live server on VS code or, um, with Gatsby or like next JS where there's hot reload and things like that. Actually, I don't know if next JS has hot reload, does it? Okay, so it looks like we're running it successfully now. Um, where is 8080? We're going to click that and up here. If I pull this down, let's go full screen on this. So, cool. And we can see that. And we want to go, what did it say? We need to go into the public folder. Ah. And so here we're adding the script here. Source equals the bundle.js so that way we can get whatever we are putting in and there we go so i guess there's a problem here with recompiling new code um with refreshing live so we're going to go into our webpack and say public path and then we're going to name it public so that's it points over to the public here. Pre refresh doesn't work. Do have to restart it? Okay, so now let's run npm run serve. We just have to restart that. Okay, we've compiled successfully. If I restart now, we see hello, hello. Now, if I go back, let's copy this again, and let's just say hello again. Voila, it works. Interesting. All right, so now we have a fully working like live server that we can just run with npm run serve. So every time we make changes to our index.ts file or really any file that outputs out to bundle, we now see that live over here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, so far Webpack hasn't been super difficult to set up. I, I honestly feel like this right here as long as you use the same, you know, path names and things like that, like source and public and which is pretty standard, right? This is like pretty boilerplate stuff. In my opinion, I don't know. I'm just figuring out Webpack. So, I mean, maybe this is like something, this is like a snippet I would save in Notion. And then anytime I need to use Webpack for things like TypeScript, then just copy and paste this thing over. And then depending on whatever my entry file is, I'd probably use that instead. That was until I found you right there in the crowd You came into my life and started a fire You made me feel like I could touch the sky oh, there's nothing mm, we, So here we created an added event listener We selected the form here um, We imported the form data function from our forms file So we're utilizing the whole ES6 module system there in here, simple add event listener on the submit on 
on that submit event, we prevent the default, so no refresh. We initiate a constant variable called data, which equals the val or the uh, the value from running the form data function, I guess. And then we console.log that. And then in here in the actual function. Much, much, much later. But that is going to do it for today. Uh, right now it is 11.04 p.m. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get enough coding that I wanted to do today because I had the podcast today. I worked out in the morning and um, I unexpectedly had to go in and coach today at the gym. So um, that took up a little bit of time. I could have been coding all day today, but, you know, sometimes unexpected happen and I did have to go in. Not that it's a problem. I always have more time to code. Would I have liked to stay home and code? Yes, absolutely. But again, you know, sometimes you just have to go in and make that sacrifice. So I went in and coached today, got that done, came home, ate dinner. And here we are. We've coded a little bit. We've learned something new. We've learned how to use some parts of Webpack and utilize the module system now. Also how to initialize, you know, the Webpack config and set up a Webpack dev server so that we can live compile and watch these changes live on a on an actual local server. So that way, um, you know, we can see what's going on and not have to run an NPM uh, run build script every single time we make a change. Um, it's kind of like Watchman, I think, on Node where, you know, you can have um, the server run and then live update as you make changes. So that way you don't have to consistently do, um, a node like on your index file or whatever it is. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I don't know whether or not I'm going to keep this kind of coding, uh, screencast kind of thing. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. If you guys actually enjoyed that, let me know in the comments. Um, if you didn't and you want to see something different, I'm going to try to put my own spins on it because I want to make it more engaging and a little bit more uh, less boring, I want to say. I'm still trying to figure it out, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, hit the like button so that the algorithm doesn't screw me over. <laughs> Subscribe if you guys want to see more content from me. If you guys have any questions or comments or things you or any kind of feedback that you want to leave me again, hit me down in the comments. You also have my email, Instagram, Twitter, where you can reach me, which you can also find in the description. Um, check out the apparel store. If you guys haven't already sell some nice merch, some coffee mugs and some stickers. If you guys want to support me, then you guys can do so there. I have a podcast, Chow Codes podcast that you guys can listen to where I interview devs and kind of just give some inspirational, motivational and tips on web development, uh, being self-taught and kind of just living an optimal lifestyle. Um, but aside from that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.